everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing the challenge video. I guess it's a challenge. It's basically where I just use all the eyeshadows in one palette on my eyes. I know that some of you were expecting a Tarte Shape Tape foundation review today. Um, that's gonna be postponed till I think next week. I did order a few shades myself, but they still haven't come. And I thought that my PR package was going to be here by the time I wanted to film this video, but it wasn't. So I was kind of using that as a backup, but both packages aren't here yet. So it's gonna be postponed till next week. I'm so sorry about that. But you have that to look forward to. Um, today I'm just like in the mood to do another challenge. I've been really into cleaning videos and challenge videos. I don't know why. I just like have been wanting to switch things up a little bit. This challenge video I saw from Alyssa Ashley and then Jay Kissa. I'm not entirely sure who originally started this challenge because I heard Alyssa say that she did not create the challenge but she's the first one she's the first person that I saw do it so if you guys know who the original creator of this challenge was please let me know down in the comment section so I can give them credit in the description box if you guys know but I'm gonna be leaving the links to Alyssa's video and Jay Kissa's video down below both of them are amazing youtubers they are some of my top favorite youtubers and I watch them religiously and they both killed it at this challenge like I'm just so excited to do this but I'm also really nervous because the palette that I picked out is gonna be kind of hard so today I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette and if you guys haven't seen what it looks like oh God, this is what it looks like it's got a lot of colors a lot of foiled colors so I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with that I was looking through all of my palettes kind of trying to decide which one I wanted to use some of them had like too many matte shades. Some of them had too many foiled shades that I just could not fit onto my lid. Like I know that I have a lot of lid space, but not that much. So I decided to just go with the Prism palette. I was gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette, but I wanted to do something kind of crazier today. And the Prism palette has crazier colors in it. So let's just go ahead and get started, okay? I'm nervous, help. Oh, doke. Um, I already did my brows, obviously. They're just really dark today. I used the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil in the color Universal Taupe. It's been my current favorite pencil. I've been using it pretty much every single day. It's a really, really nice taupe color and it's also very pigmented, so it's like super easy to use. So to prime my eyelids, I'm gonna be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids like I normally do. Okay, I need to turn off the heater in here, it's so hot. And then to set that concealer, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder. My beauty blender right in there. I'm just taking a clean brush and wiping away the excess. And I already went ahead and curled my eyelashes. I like to do that before I start my makeup. I know, I'm weird like that. It's just one of my little things. A lot of people kinda get upset about it and I'm not sure why. It's just something I like to do. I feel like I'm really bright. All right, so I'm going to poop my pants first. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do a cut crease because it's pretty much the only way I can fit that many colors onto my eyes. So first I'm gonna start with the shade Unity just to be safe. I don't know how I'm gonna make this look good. This is overwhelming. So I'm going to take that on an LA Girl 202 brush. It's my current my current favorite crease brush. I'm just going to blend that into my crease. It's not going to show up much. It's a really light color, but you know, it's the challenge of the video. So like how in the world am I supposed to make Saturn and sphere go together. Why did I choose this palette? I am stupid. Alrighty, um, then I'm gonna go in with the color Lure, which is kind of like the next lightest matte shade. I'm also going to just really buff that into my crease. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that color Unity again and just kind of go along the edges. I feel like I completely lost it. It is such a light shade. I don't really know how else you're supposed to use it. Okay, then we're gonna take, I don't know. I need to plan this out. 
Let's plan this out just really quick. I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. Okay, I might have a plan, I don't know. Next we're gonna go in with Eden and the Violet Voss. This is like just a small tapered brush. They don't have numbers on their brushes, so sorry about that. I'm going to focus Eden on the inner portion of my crease. All right, and then with this pencil brush from Iconic London and the shade Saturn, I'm also going to focus that on the inner portion of my crease. I'm taking Eden again and I'm just gonna blend the edges out. All right, and then with this Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush, and the color parallel. I'm going to focus that even tighter on the inner crease. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go in with the color parallel again in that um, small crease brush from Violet Voss and I'm gonna work that on like the outer corner of my crease focus that on the outer portion of my crease then with the color lure and the big crease brush from LA girl I'm just gonna blend that outer corner out. And then taking the color Osiris. Osiris? Oh, Osiris, I don't know. And using a Luxie 289 Precision Shader Brush. I tried it with a brush, it didn't work out very well. And so I'm just gonna use my middle finger and put that on the outer portion of my lid. And taking parallel and kind of blending everything out just as we go along. Then I'm just taking some of Saturn and I'm gonna blend that out a little bit more. And no, I still have no idea what I'm doing, so that's fun. Okay, I'm then taking this pencil brush from Luxie with the color Lucid. This color takes some building up, like it's definitely not my favorite color. I'm just gonna use this as a brow bone highlight. Okay, and then with this LA Girl 112 brush, just a flat concealer brush, and some of that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to cut out a cut crease just on the inner half of my eyes. And with this Luxie Eye Shading Brush, with the, starting with the color Pyramid, I'm going to use that on the very inner part Then with Eternal, I'm gonna take that on my finger as well. I just can't seem to get these shades to work without my finger. And then ending with Sphinx. Okay, that honestly did not turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. Um, I do have to do the lower lash line and it's gonna be involving the blue or the green that we didn't use and the like lime green color that we didn't use. So I don't know how it's gonna look after that, we'll see. 
So I'm gonna do my face makeup really quick and then we're gonna get started on the lower lash line. Okay, so I did my face makeup and I also popped on some lashes as well. So to get started with the lower lash line, I'm going to take the Stila Smudge Kajal. Is that how you pronounce it? K-A-J-A-L. Stila Smudge Kajal Eyeliner. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> really bad at pronouncing things, okay, people? Okay, I'm just gonna waterline my eyes with that. I'm also gonna bring it down on the lower lash line just on the outer, like, third. And then on the opposite side of that eyeliner is like a little smudger thing. I'm just gonna use that to smudge it out. Look how convenient that is. Okay, and then we're taking the Luxie 223 Short Shader Brush and the color Throne. And I'm going to use that on my lower lash line. Oh my God, I just got so much of that in my eye. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it in about that far. I'm taking a clean pencil brush. I'm gonna blend out the edges a little bit. And then taking the color Sphere, we're gonna use that to blend out the green shade. Then I'm gonna take the last color. Yep, that's right. I got through all the colors. What's up? Dimension, which is actually my favorite color from the palette. And I'm just gonna take that on my pinky and put that right on my lower lash line. Then taking the color Lucid on my pinky as well and highlighting my inner corner. Okay guys, well, that was um, a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I was panicking at the beginning of this video. Like I'm actually kind of really liking how this looks. It's a little bit random how there's like this bronzy look on top and then we got some lime ass green on the bottom lower lash line, but it kind of works. Like I'm okay with it. I'm not mad at it. I'm proud of myself. Are you guys proud of me? Am I bragging too much? Should I stop? I put on just a little bit of lipstick. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Sheer Caramello. Caramello. By the way, Stila came out with a bunch of these sheer liquid lipsticks and I'm actually loving them. All the colors are really, really beautiful and I like that they're just not quite as intense as other liquid lipsticks. And I like Stila liquid lipsticks. I feel like they last pretty well. All right guys, that is it for this challenge video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I did it right because I watched those girls' videos a few days ago. So I hope I did everything correctly. I used all the shadows in the palette. Wait, let me double check. Yes, yes, yes. O-M-G. I'm so pissed. I missed one color. I missed obsidian, which shouldn't be too hard to incorporate. Back to the back to the drawing board, people. Using the Precision Shader Brush by Lexi. I'm just gonna pop that on the outer V, even though it looks like there's already black there. We're just gonna do it for the sake of this video. Wouldn't it suck if I just like completely ruined this look? Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit just on the outer V, kind of connecting the upper and lower lash line. Dimension, Parallel, Pyramid, Drone, Saturn, Eternal, Lore. Okay, now I used all the colors. Good thing I double checked. That is pretty much it for this challenge. Um, I'm sorry again about not getting the Tarte Foundation video up sooner. I should have double checked my PR packages, because I don't know if I mentioned this, but my PR packages get sent to my mom's house still, just because I feel like they have a safer location for packages to be dropped off instead of it. Anyways, doesn't even matter. Um, so I didn't, I forgot to ask her if a tart package was dropped off and that's my bad, but it should be here. One of the packages should be here by next week, so keep you guys updated. I'll let you know. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.